Welcome back to Short and Sweet. This week's episode is on Canva for Education. So if you're not currently using Canva for Education, I'm going to show you how you can get Canva for Education. So go to canva.com and at the top where it says plans, if you click on the down arrow and you go to education and click on education, you'll see here's a way for teachers to sign up and also for school districts to sign up. Now my school district currently is, is signed up for Canva for Education. And for those teachers, I'll be providing the information on how to get logged in with your Canva for Education account in the email that's attached to this video. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I'm already in the education login. And so I just log in with my Google account. And once I log in, this is what I'm going to see. And first of all, you're going to see under, you might want to try, these are all things that are for educators. So you can go through here and see the different things that are available for educators to use. And it's so nice. Now, up at the top, if you're just using it for the first time, there are tutorials. So there are all kinds of tutorials on getting started, uh, creating videos, Canva for education. So there's lots of different things on here, courses, tutorials, blogs, all kinds of things that you can use. Now, just to get started, I'm just going to show you the short and sweet of this because there's a lot. This can be a, a, a rabbit hole that you're going to go down, but I want to show you templates. So templates are super easy to use and you can take a template and make it your own. So let's just look under the education templates and you're going to see there's a lot of them here and look at this one worksheets. Yep. I said it worksheets. So if you click on worksheets, you're going to see all kinds of worksheet templates. There are 3,465 templates in here. You can narrow them down um, by themes. You can narrow them down by other, other items. So if I just want to focus on handwriting, I could do that. Um, if I want to do math, I could just look under math. Um, let's say I want to do science, but I want to be specific. I want to look for plant cells. So up at the top where it says worksheets, we're in the search box here. I'm going to do worksheets and I'm going to type in plant cell. Now, when I hit enter, the magic happens. So now you're going to see that there are all kinds of plant cell templates here. So depending on what grade your students are in or um, how you're teaching it, you can go ahead and pick one of these templates. So let's just say I like this plant cell structure one. I like this one where they have to fill in and label the parts of the plant. So I'm going to select this. And now I can customize this template. So I'm going to click customize template. And there it is. So now down here on the bottom, I can move this little slider over so I can see what's here and I can move it around. I can make changes um, to the wording just by clicking inside and changing the text. I could move these lines and just move them wherever I want to. And I could add additional things here. So if there was other, other things I wanted them to label, I could add additional boxes by copying this box and pasting it. And then just adding additional text down at the bottom. But I'm going to get rid of that for now because I don't need that. And let's say, let's just look at the top and say, hmm, okay, I like this person, but I kind of like to make it a little more personal. So I have attached my Bitmoji to my Canva. So I'm going to click on Bitmoji. And I am going to say, let's say, let's do plants. Let's see what pops up. 
Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this guy and this plant. And I am going to add this bitmoji. up here at the top. So it makes it a little bit more personal um, so that my students get a, I guess, a warm and fuzzy. All right. So now that I have this done, I've made any changes I want. So you can see anything that's um, has a box around it, I can make changes to. If I want to change this color of this text, I can go up here and just change the color to, okay, let's do that. And see how it also gives me document colors. So it gives me the colors that are already in my document. So now I've changed that text and I am ready to download this. Now, when I'm ready to download it, I'm going to go up to the top and it's going to give me different options. So, I'm going to download this as a PDF file. So I can download it as a PDF file. And then I can upload it to my Google Classroom for my students to complete this work in Kami, or I could add it to, um, I could add it to a Jamboard. I could do multiple things with this particular worksheet, or I could print it out and they could do it that way too. So now I'm ready to just download it and share it with my students. So that is a quick overview of Canva and templates. There is a lot more information here. So that's just templates. There are elements, so if I wanted to find any other plants, I could look on here. There's all kinds of plants. I could add additional ones to my project and put them in here. Try going to the tutorials and learning a little bit more, and it's super easy to do, and you will enjoy it. There is a whole other side to Canva, which is a classroom side that you can do with your students. We won't get into that today, but I will share that with you at another time. Enjoy, and thanks for watching Short and Sweet.